Yeah, my name is Gregory Bright. On November 15, 1975, I was arrested and charged for second degree murder. Just uh, a lot of confusion, a lot of chaos. You know, I'm sitting in jail for a crime. I have absolutely no idea, no, no facts or circumstances or nothing. Trial was set for June, June 26, 1976. The jury deliberated for 13 minutes. After 13 minutes, they came back with a guilty verdict. Guilty as charged. My co-defendant and I were both sentenced to serve the battles of our natural lives at hard labor. It's broke off, right? Uh -huh. Can I ask you a question? Man, Is that judge? The thing about it that really, you know, kind of broke me down was the fact that, you know, I didn't know what was going on at the time. But, and when I discovered it, you know, it's kind of hard to, to think that, you know, people would actually sit here and just plot this kind of stuff. You know, put this kind of stuff on people who was unable to defend themselves like, you know, like I was illiterate. You know, I dropped out in sixth grade to care for my stepfather who took ill with rheumatoid arthritis. During his time, the real, real pain, he used to call me to read the Lord's Prayer to him. When I got in jail, when I went to prison a few years later, after he passed, um, that was the only thing that was in the cell with me was a Bible. I started underlining the words that I had recognized from reading the Lord's Prayer. Then I had a Watchtower magazine. I started reading the Watchtower magazine, underlining those words and stuff like that. And through that, you know, I was able to educate myself, learn the law enough where I challenged my case from in every court that had jurisdiction, from the criminal district court to the United States Supreme Court without a lawyer. You see, I'm fighting, I'm sleeping in the game room. I'm not even sleeping in my rack. I got all this paperwork piled up in the, in the game room, in the, in the day room. I'm just sleeping up in there. Guys bringing me food and stuff. You know, it ain't it ain't it ain't the uh, it ain't all it ain't always the, the size of the dog. You know, sometimes it's the bite. You know, that counts. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's okay. it. Yeah. Sink on, sink on. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it there. That's it. Yeah. Good, huh? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Okay, so where, where were we? <laughs> <laughs> started with a text from my wife. Um, she was reading about him and, and everything that he went through. And I felt, I mean, as well, very touched by the story and, and I knew I could help him because I, I am surrounded, fortunately, by many good people. I uh, pick up the phone, I call Mark Mayer and, and he was, uh, he, I, I haven't even finished my sentence when he was saying like, yes, whatever, whatever you want, we, we, we trust in, in, in what you do and, and we would love to help, whatever you need. And, and that was quite an outstanding uh, response. And, and, and that happened uh, as, uh, with the rest of my team. I sent a couple of texts and in less than 10 minutes, I have a whole team committed to, to take care of him. It was love at first sight. We really like each other and, and, and kind of like uh, we became uh, friends instantly. It's been a wonderful experience for the entire time that I've, I've been over here at LSU. I mean, the staff, uh, you know, the, the doctors and, and all, everybody's just really been wonderful. You know, not only were, you know, my teeth uh, a problem for me, you know, in terms of speaking, you know, it was also a problem for me in terms of eating. And so, you know, people that uh, knew me, 
you know, knew my circumstances, you know, sort of looked out for me and, um, you know, that's how, that's how it came about. To get to see somebody from being very self-conscious, uh, from barely opening uh, their mouth, from covering their mouth with their, uh, with, their, uh, with their hand when they talk, those kind of things just change dramatically. The kind of protocol that we use is, uh, is, is using technology, digital smile design, to preview what we want to do with him. And, uh, that allowed us to remove the remaining teeth that they were hopeless, remodeling the bone, at the same time putting up a surgical guide, and, and at the same time delivering on the same day we were delivering his prosthesis. So in, in just one appointment he was able to, to, to become a completely different person. The best thing that I could have done was believe that my smile would be restored. Being able to, to smile again with the confidence that, you know, you know, people are not just staring in your mouth and you know, it's done a wonder, it's worked wonders for me, absolutely. So I I'm just really thankful. I feel blessed and, and, and you know I mean it's just so many people that I'd like to thank, you know, for for, for, for being taking part in this and just you know, sharing my experience, not only that, but, you know, just Thank you all. being, you know, just have, knowing that, you know, there's someone that's helping you in an uh, area that, you know, I mean, you, you can uh, otherwise help yourself. So that's, that's always a good thing for me.